Hello Booktube, my name is Elizabeth. Welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to the second video in the Ultimate Jane Austen Ranking Series. So in this video, I'm going to rank, I was about to say I'm going to rank the heroines of Jane Austen's novels, but it's not. It's, I'm going to rank the novels according to the heroine because it's not quite the same. If I was ranking the heroines of Jane Austen's six novels, I would end up with seven people in the ranking because in Sense and Sensibility, we have two heroines. It's impossible to say which one is the main character between Eleanor and Marianne Dashwood. Both of them are the main characters, but I'm ranking the books. So I am ranking the novels according to the heroine. Now, I want to start by saying that all of Jane Austen's books are great and that you're perfectly allowed to have a different ranking than mine. You are perfectly allowed to completely disagree with what I have to say. So feel free to do so in the comments. And you're also very free to agree with what I say. <laughs> so let's just start a discussion. So without further ado, my least favorite heroine of Jane Austen is her youngest one. It is Catherine Morland from Northanger Abbey. Now, Northanger Abbey is the first novel Jane Austen wrote, and um, it, perhaps it, it shows in some ways. And I think the heroine in this book is not the most memorable heroine of Jane Austen. Um, she has a, uh, Catherine Morland is leaving her home for the first time. She is visiting with some friends in Bath, and then she goes to um, Northanger Abbey to visit some other friends. And it's the first time she's leaving home. She's discovering the world. She's a bit like this puppy, completely enthusiastic about the world and just wanting to take it all. And she has a very vivid imagination and it may take her a bit in trouble. Um, but the reason why she's my least favorite heroine is that she's not the most uh, memorable character in the book. Uh, for me, there are some other characters that I remember more. So I, it's hard to... It's hard to remember a scene, well for me, I have difficulty remembering a scene where Catherine Morland shines uh, very bright in the book. So I think she's a bit bland um, and I think she's a bit forgettable. So compared to other heroines of Jane Austen, she's not the most memorable. So that's the reason why I put her at number six. At number five, a heroine who is very, very memorable, but um, Jane Austen was setting to write a heroine whom nobody would like except herself. And I will have to say congratulations, well done, I don't like her. It is Emma. Um, Emma is of course the daughter of a rich man and she's a heiress and she's spoiled. And uh, as the first line of the novel says, she has lived almost 21 years. No, it, I'm going to read it correctly. Um, she has reached she had lived nearly 21 years in the world with very little to distress or vex her. And that makes her the most spoiled heroine of Jane Austen, but pretty much of literature in general. Um, she is oblivious to the consequences of her actions. Uh, she's always thinking of having fun, well, except when she's taking care of her father. I have to admit that is very endearing. Uh, but basically, she's the image of entitlement, of uh, rich people just not really caring for people that are poor, for being completely disconnected from reality and all of that. So um, I'm not very fond of Emma. So she is at number five. At number four, I put Sense and Sensibility with the two inseparable heroines that are Eleanor and Marianne Dashwood. Um, I like them together, but separate, I think each of them is a bit too much. Uh, separately, Eleanor is just too calm, too cool, too collected, too reason, too reasonable, too, too too much on one side, and at the other end we have Marianne, who's just too exuberant, too passionate, too just too too, too many feelings expressed all the time. Um, so it's it's both of them individually, they are too much. But put together, they, they make a nice balance. And that, I guess, is the nice thing to read in this book. It's the interaction between the two sisters. And it's together they are making an interesting dynamic. So um, because they are together, they are at number four. Had they been individually, they might have been a bit low in the ranking. But together, they fit nicely together and they make a nice contrast. So they are at number four. At number three, a heroine, I think, who is very often not liked enough, and that is Fanny Price from Mansfield Park. Now, Fanny Price is just one year older than Catherine Morland. So Catherine Morland of Northanger Abbey was 17, and in this book, Fanny Price is 18. 
And yet, so the difference is just completely, um, it's a stark difference. Uh, Catherine Morland was full of lies, full of energy and knowing basically nothing. And on the other hand, we have Fanny Price, who who knows a lot of things. She, she thinks she doesn't, but she is very wise for her years. And she's very thoughtful and very reasonable. And she is very good at reading the situation around her. And I think for an 18 year old, it's rather, it's rather impressive. And the, the one little thing that I don't like about Fanny Price is how fragile she is. I think that it's a bit exaggerated. I think they could have made her a bit more sturdy. Um, but um, I think she's a very interesting character and I really like her. And uh, yeah, it, yeah, I see a lot of myself in Fanny Price. Not, not that I was taken away from my family and that I'm fragile and all of that. But uh, a character who perhaps is thinking too much and fears a bit interaction with other people because, um, because of overthinking previously. Yeah, I, I can sort of see myself in that. So that, that would be my uh, number three. At number two, the eldest, it's Anne Elliot from Persuasion. Now, it's very hard not to love Anne Elliot. Um, of course, it's, 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 um, it's famous that in her family, Anne doesn't count and that her father and her sisters don't really care for Anne and they don't have a lot of respect for her. But of course, as readers, it's entirely the opposite. We have to admire Anne, who manages to maintain her maintain some poise and maintain a, a minimum of happiness in in the situation where she's completely shunned, where she's completely all the time put aside and where she um, basically is not recognized to her true value. And I think she's a wonderful heroine. The fact that she is older also makes it more interesting. Um, it adds a different color to this novel compared to the other novels of Jane Austen. And at number one, that leaves Elizabeth Bennet. Now, her name is Elizabeth, my name is Elizabeth, of course, that, that's it, that's the only reason. No, it's not, no, it's not the only reason. It's a good one though, but it's not the only reason. Um, Elizabeth Bennet, she, she's like the perfect balance of a heroine. She's she's smart, she's witty, but she also makes mistakes. Uh, it's not like Fanny Price who always gets things right or uh, Eleanor Dashwood or some other character who basically gets it right all the time, makes the right call all the time. She gets things wrong, very, very wrong. And it's nice to see how she changes her opinion over the novel. Um, she has energy, but at the same time, she knows when to shut up. Uh, she can read books, but at the same time, she also can have conversation and knows how to behave in the world. So she is really a, a great balance. And she is funny and she is witty and she is just wonderful. I love Elizabeth Bennet and uh, she's my favorite heroine of Jane Austen. So that, that's my ranking for the first criteria of this ultimate Jane Austen ranking. And let me know in the comments what you think. And I'm thinking perhaps how about you leave your ranking in the description box below of the heroines, the, 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 the order in which you place them, and then I will make an extra video at the end of the month and compile all the results of the commentators. And um, yeah, we'll see who is Jane Austen, uh, Booktube's favorite Jane Austen's heroine. I think that could be fun. Uh, we could do that for all the criteria. I just thought of that right now. So yeah, I, I think, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, um, Okay, I'm going to pin a comment at the top of the video and to leave, uh, to, to say until when you can leave comments and until when you can leave your ranking and then I will take it into account and then I will add it up and then I will make an extra video because yes, we always like extra videos of Jane Austen rankings. <laughs> so that's it. Um, yep, yeah, I like that idea. Uh, so thank you everyone for watching. I will see you in the next video that I'm going to film in like two minutes. <laughs> à la prochaine!